In the words of Nelly and Paul Wall, I might be grilled out nicely. It's Jay and let's talk about the success of grills and how they changed pop culture If you happen to like my content make sure to leave a comment down below like share and subscribe and let's get into the video Grills have become such a mainstream success and I mean why wouldn't they have you seen some of the crazy mouthpieces that are out there? Hell in the 2000s whenever I was a kid I would either stick foil in my mouth gum wrappers with the foil backing or show off my caps claiming that they are real grills. And everyone knows somebody that has a grandparent with a gold tooth. But the question remains, how did grills become so successful that they changed every bit of culture? From ASAP Rocky to Marilyn Manson to Jelly Roll, you can find grills in every aspect of pop culture. They're not only a way of showing your personality, they also show your class and wealth, which is very unique. Grills success in the media can be traced back to the 2000s with such push in the music industry. This was to showcase who had the most wealth with crazy neck pieces, hand accessories, and mouthpieces. I'm getting on the stone, bro. Come on. I'm getting on the stone, bro. Nah, man, come on. Where'd come you get your jewelry from, dog? But what most people don't know is that grills have been a part of culture for thousands of years. People have assumed that grills started with the Egyptian culture due to remains being found of gold teeth that were held by wire. But throughout its discovery and time, it was then realized that this piece was more than likely just a necklace. So that leaves a question, where did these gleaming mouthpieces truly come from? Around the BC era in Italy, it has been documented that women of the Etruscans would wear these gold mouth pieces either to show wealth in class, their royalty in society, or for some ritual effect. But it really wasn't just the Etruscans. The Mayans had also experimented with such mouthpieces as well, and throughout history, each culture was often overtaken and these gold-plated mouthpieces would fade out of society's norms. But keep in mind, grills never fully disappeared. They would remain in the background as as more of a high-class showpiece of wealth and leadership. And gold has been documented throughout history to be used as dental care because of its durability until resins came into the picture. Now, when I say grills never fully disappeared, I mean as immigration pursued throughout the US in the 1900s, we started to discover other people's cultures with just gold teeth. New York has been known as a famous hotspot for immigration, and these cultures would spread throughout the city, which is just so damn cool. In the 1970s, grills would attract people's attention again because it was so unique to understand people's heritage. These diamond gold-plated mouthpieces would then be used as fashion statements. This can be seen with none other than Grace Jones on Vogue's magazine in 1975. The 1970s was also the start of a new sound known as hip-hop and rap, but could be heard throughout time with genres such as blues and jazz. As hip-hop became more mainstream, so did neck pieces, hand accessories, and yes, grills. Following the 1980s, hip-hop and rap brought mainstream success to the diamond gold-plated mouthpieces that you see today. And two examples of this that I can think of would be artists Flava Flav and Run DMC. You had the gold neck pieces and the gold mouthpieces showing the world that you had made it big time but also still stuck with your roots. And this type of status was not just a bragging right, but it showed that you had worked really hard to get where you are, and this is also another example of showing royalty. This wasn't just based off of the success of hip-hop and rap, though. The forefront of grill success goes back to the South African named Eddie Plan, who in the 1980s would go to dental school and start selling grills out of a pawn shop in New York. And this inspiration was all based off of his own broken tooth. His eagerness and determination to see that gold teeth could be used as a fashion statement brought major hip-hop artists to his front door. Artists like Nas and Biggie Smalls. As his fashion statement moved south in the US around the 1990s and the 2000s, the most credible figures to grills would be known as Johnny Dang and Paul Wall who would open up a store to sell grills in 
Houston. Johnny was familiar with gold-plated teeth due to his grandparents, but saw the demand of grills from Plun being successful in the North. He then created what we know today as Johnny Dang & Co. This success of these diamond gold-plated mouthpieces would create such a demand amongst every musical talent. The demand was so high that it would create an advertising piece in 2000s music videos. A major example of this would be none other than the song Grills by Nelly, which is interesting because you had Southern artists coming together to promote the Southern success of Grills. Fast forward to today and Grills have become such a statement in the industry, not only in music, but with influencers such as Logan and Jake Paul. And you have even had some country artists using this branding to attract a different audience, which to me is just a unique study piece. I would say that groups like Swisher House and ASAP Mob made such an impact on these mouthpieces. ASAP Rocky and Ferg using camera shots in their music videos or album covers to showcase this fashion trend and Swisher House also using the same tactic in the 2000s would really shed some light on the history of grills. And Mike Jones is such a good example of this type of advertising. This fashion statement is not only just in hip hop and rap and has spread to genres like rock and country due to the history of grills and the immigration of the 1900s. If it wasn't for people bringing their culture to the US, this would not be a phenomenon and it definitely would not be in a fashion industry. So what do you think about grills and their impact on culture? Do you want one just like I do? And how do you think it has affected all aspects of fashion? With that being said, this will be the end of my video guys. I have loved grills since I was a kid. I remember seeing them on every hip hop music video and I do remember Marilyn Manson wearing grills as well in some of his music videos as well as concert appearances. Grills are not only a fashion statement, they are a part of history that will probably remain for years to come. So like I said in the beginning, if you happen to like my content, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you think and stay trill people. I'm out.